Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I earn yield on my BNB or Binance token. Now, I like to earn yield, and I'm sure you do as well. That's why I'm a fan of Celsius and Voyager and DeFi, because you can earn yield on a bunch of different tokens. Now, for a while, I couldn't really figure out how to earn yield on my BNB token, and I like BNB, and I want to earn yield on it as well, because earning yield is fun, right? So I figured out this method or whatever you want to call it. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. But basically, I'm earning about 25% APY on my BNB token now. Now, I'll be honest with you, this method is probably a little risky. We're using we're going to be using two different DeFi services in order to generate this yield. And, you know, DeFi can be hit or miss sometimes. So I would say this is kind of risky. Um, do your own research. Don't hold me accountable. This is for entertainment purposes only. But yeah, so I let me click into here real quick and we'll see I've had my funds deposited since June 9th and it is now June 26th so that's 17 days and so it's been working for 17 days and hasn't failed me yet and seems to be producing reliable results now the APY does change I've seen it in the lower 20s and I've seen it over 30 before so I'd say the average for me personally is about 25% APY which I think is pretty dang good for BNB considering like I want the token to go up and I think it'll go up plus I'm earning this yield on top of the appreciation of the token itself we can see I have 8.52 BNB in there uh, my yield uh, this is so I've made $14.44 basically but you know basically 0 0.05 BNB in the last 17 days which I mean you can do the math on that and this is my daily yield I'm basically making a dollar fifty a a day at today's prices and I think BNB is like at 280 or something like that we can check it real quick just to see give us some perspective here so Binance going 275 so we've been we've been having a rough rough go this month haven't we so we're down 19 percent in the last seven days but anyway still earning about 25 percent APY and so this is how how, how you do it so first things first we're going to use two different services we're going to use BeltFi and we're also going to use beefy finance so we need to use both of these services in order to earn the yield so first thing we're going to come into beltfi and this is not an instruction video on beltfi or how beltfi works go do, do your own research on beltfi if you want to see if it's reliable or not uh it was hacked earlier i think at the beginning of this month and beltfi was hacked so you know i take that for what it's worth uh, they've gone and they've reevaluated what they're doing and hopefully they fixed you know issues and stuff like that so yeah, it's Wild West out here in DeFi, so be careful is my point. But we want to scroll on down here, and we're going to look for different vaults here. Now, you can also do the same concept with Bitcoin. It's wrapped Bitcoin because it's on the Binance Smart Chain. Wrapped Ethereum, again, because it's on the Binance Smart Chain. We got BNB here, and this is actually wrapped BNB as well because it's on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, you can also do it with DAI, USDC, USDT, and BUSD. And you might have noticed, I also have some going with Bitcoin, I only have a really small amount, but hey, I figured I'd earn a little bit of yield on uh, my wrapped Bitcoin that's on the Binance Smart Chain as well. So I'm earning 9.1% on my Bitcoin. So same concept would apply with whatever token, but we're just doing BNB. So anyway, we're going to go into BNB here and you might have to go through some approvals and stuff like that. Like you might have to click approve here or stake or something like that to go ahead and you know gain access to to this little area it's pretty self-explanatory i think it says approve let's see i don't think i've done it ETH. so yeah there you go so eth so you click approve it would approve and then you would basically have the same screen that i'm looking at now where you could go ahead and stake your tokens now i want to go ahead and click on click in here and choose how much bnb i want to go ahead and stake so i'm just gonna do one bnb add that to my my pool here and then i'm gonna go ahead and click on deposit and I'm gonna to have to go ahead and sign this transaction. Now, I have MetaMask connected to the Binance Smart Chain. If you need help on that, I have a video with instructions on how to do that, or you could also use the Binance Chain Wallet, I believe, in order to, to do this task. But anyway, we'll go ahead and confirm, and we go ahead and wait for a second here. And the transaction went through. It cost me a dollar and nine cents to go ahead and process that transaction. But now I have a new token. I have a Belt BNB token in my possession. If I went to my wallet here, it might show up. I might have to add it. If I have to add it, I'm not going to at this point in time. But it is in my wallet here. Even if Belt, there it is. Belt BNB right there. I can see it in my wallet at 0.974. Uh, they do take, I believe, a little fee when you go ahead and you deposit your tokens that's why i don't have one belt bnb because they took 
I think it's a 1% fee or something like that. Oh, here's the fee right here. There's the fee right there of how much money they took. And that's why you don't see one belt BNB, but you see 0.974 because of that little fee right there. So I have this belt BNB token. Now I wanna go over to Binance, or sorry, Beefy Finance. And I wanna go ahead and put it in one of their vaults here. So let me go ahead and clear these filters. So we're looking at the same thing. And again, this is all on the Binance Smart Chain. So make sure you're on the correct Beefy Finance so this all works. And we want to go to, I'll just search for BNB and BNB right here and see if it pops up. Nah, there's too many options. This, I'll do Control F and look at for belt. Belt. All right, that didn't work. So let me go ahead and clear filters again. And I'm just going to go to uh, vault type and go to single assets. I know it's under this one. So let's go on down here and belt BTC. So we're getting close. Belt BNB. There we go. So we can see that I have some belt BNB in my wallet, that 0.974 number. And then we see the amount of BNB I currently have, or belt BNB. I have deposited in this vault here, which of course matches up with this number over here. So 8.57 and 8.5, well, I guess they rounded up. So anyway, we'll click into here and you might have to go through and approve again. Let's see. So you'll have to approve it first and then you should have a screen that looks like mine. And then we can go ahead and choose how much belt BNB you wanna deposit in this vault. So I just maxed it out by clicking this, uh, these numbers right here or I guess you can click deposit all. But anyway, there's a there's a fee associated with this as well. So you gotta be a little mindful of the fees. We'll go ahead and deposit all and confirm. And we can go ahead and look at this as well. See how much this costs to go ahead and deposit it in the Beefy Finance Vault. Plus they take their fee, so let's see. So max transaction cost will be $1.36. And the transaction went through and it was 65 cents to go ahead and put my belt BNB in Beefy Finance. So let's come back over here. And we can now see I have deposited 9.54 belt BNB in my Beefy Finance vault. So now it's earning that yield right now. So let me go ahead and refresh this. Remember we had 8.57. Let's go ahead and refresh it. It should say 9.5 something, right? Something like that. 9.54 and now it's earning yield over here. So I should be making a dollar 63 a day. So that is pretty cool stuff. Now I'm gonna kind of explain how to get your money back out. I'm not gonna demonstrate it. Sorry, I, I wanna earn this yield and I'm paying fees and stuff like that. And you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just do the, the same steps in reverse. So we come over here to Beefy Finance first and we would identify or locate the belt BNB pool, right? And then we could go ahead and select the amount we want to go ahead and withdraw. So if you want to withdraw all of it or, you know, you can change it to you want to withdraw three of them or whatever you want to go ahead and do, you know, I don't care what you do. And then you could go ahead and withdraw or withdraw all. And so that would give you your belt BNB tokens back, right? That That's what would happen. And then you come over to BeltFi and you go to withdraw here and you see your balance would be belt BNB. And you could go ahead and, you know, change it like if you're withdrawing three. You go ahead and change it to that. And then you go ahead and click on the withdraw button right there. And that would take your belt BNB and convert it back to your BNB. And then you could go do whatever the heck you want to do with your BNB. So yeah, that's how I've been earning yield on my BNB tokens. And again, you could do it with wrapped Bitcoin and also wrapped Ethereum too by following the same method. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful or interesting. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.